so, so a grandmaster in his younger days. First time I came to him uh, in his school in uh, Capo, uh, he talked about everybody he's been fighting. So he showed me pictures, yeah, I fought that guy, I drew that guy to a hospital. Uh, and uh, and uh, I, I didn't know, uh, of course I had to believe what he was saying. Uh, and. Uh, but then I also heard other people telling me, yeah, I fought Grandmaster back in those days. And of course, sometimes both say they won <laughs> or they didn't say they won, they, they just didn't say they lost. And uh, one of them were, um, he lives in Canada now, um, Jun de Leon. He came to Philippines and we actually met, so we had a, a nice lunch together. But back in the days we had been fighting. Uh, but now we were friends. But back in those days, we, we, we both said that, yeah, we were proud, we were fighters and uh, they fought. Uh, none, none of them committed uh, that they were lost, but uh, both claim they won sort of, or they couldn't do this, they couldn't do that. But he, I know he's been fighting a lot of people and uh, uh, I don't know everybody, everything about every fight, but uh, he built his grandmaster title and it was kind of controversial because he was a young grandmaster. He got his grandmaster title before 50. Nowadays that's not rare, but back in those days that was rare. If you have a grandmaster title before 50, uh, you're not a grandmaster. But he, he claimed it due to his uh, fight with, fights with other grandmasters. So, okay, if I can fight that grandmaster, if I can fight this grandmaster, I'm a grandmaster too. That's about how he got his title. I'm not sure to, how to explain the, the, the spirit of Philippines, but uh, this is my uh, interpretation of it. It's, uh, it's the Asian fatalistic approach, sort of, that you just do things and things happen. But at the same time, we have that heart of a Spanish, uh, the Latino attitude. I'm proud, I'm a fighter. So it's an interesting uh, background and kind of a soul of Filipino martial arts, in my opinion. Uh, I can't justify this is why it's like, like this and that, but I see the, the Spanish proudness and, and the, the Asian approach to fighting in that. And uh, I think that's uh, what's intriguing with Filipino martial arts.